investment in Australia must be on our terms, on our rules and in our interests. And that has always been the strong position of our government. And today the Treasurer is announcing a series of further reforms, important reforms, that ensures that foreign investment will always be done on our terms, on our rules and in our national interests. And it is not the first time that our government has acted in these respects. Now, under our foreign investment rules, significant authority is placed uh, in the Treasurer to make the ultimate decisions when it comes to foreign investment in Australia. That was a responsibility I carried when I was Treasurer um, previously. And at that time, we introduced changes to our foreign investment rules that established new registers for agricultural land ownership, uh, firm screening of direct interests in agribusiness, lowering of thresholds, and importantly, one of the first things I did back then was the appointment of David Irvine as chair of the Foreign Investment Review Board. Because our world has been changing for some time, and so has been the nature of foreign investment. Many years ago, treasurers merely had to deal with what were effectively commercial transactions, ensuring we were protecting against anti-competitive behaviour and competition was strong in Australia, and they were predominantly the issues that foreign investment uh, questions were determined over. But in more recent times, there has been other elements of foreign investment that we need to be very careful about, and we need to have strong rules to protect Australia against. Investments in critical infrastructure, in sensitive businesses, and data centres, and things of that nature we need to ensure that the appropriate protections are in place. And so, uh, with the appointment of David Irvine some years ago, that was sending a very clear signal that the interests that needed to be assessed for Australia were not just those that related to commercial issues, but broader strategic issues and national security issues. And we have been following that path ever since. And so today, the Treasurer has fashioned I think a series of very important reforms, strongly endorsed, of course, as they are required to by our cabinet, the federal cabinet. And those rules deal with one of the key challenges that I believe the Treasurer always has in these circumstances. And that is to ensure that when, when the conditions change, when business activities change, when markets change, when technology changes, then our foreign investment system needs to have the flexibility and the authorities to protect Australia's interests in those circumstances. And the rules that have been fashioned by the Treasurer, I think, very much go to that core issue. But at the same time, it's important that we understand the very serious role that foreign investment plays in Australia and that the streamlining of those processes, for the vast majority, of applications that present absolutely no risk to Australia at all can continue to flow in a very efficient way. Australia has the most liberal set of um, rules in our part of the world. People can invest in Australia in the way that Australians cannot invest in, in our part of the world, um, and that is a function of our outward-looking nature of our economy and under our understanding of how we can drive prosperity in this country, and that is to our credit. But it's, so it's important that as we continue to attract the investment on our rules, on our terms and in our interests, then that can be done in a way that is streamlined and it is efficient. And the Treasurer has fashioned reforms to that end as well. And also there must be compliance with those rules. And so where you have rules, they have to be backed up and that's why there's additional resources, more than $50 million today, which is going to resource our agencies to ensure we can enforce and com ensure compliance 